A meteorite crash lands on Earth, unleashing a deadly alien horde intent on destroying humanity. So it's up to you and three of your closest friends to survive as long as you can in this Left 4 Dead inspired first person shooter four player co-op game, Earthfall, developed and published by Hollow Spark, available right now on the Xbox One, the PS4, and the PC. All the footage you're seeing here is from the Xbox One X version, and this game retails for $30. I want to thank the devs for sending over a code for the purpose of this video. And during this Rans in the Spotlight, I usually tell you guys all the things I enjoy about the game. Spoiler alert, they ain't much here to enjoy. Yeah, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Earthfall is just not a good game. It's boring, it's bland, it's mediocre, and worst of all, it's not fun to play, even in four-player co-op. And, you know, this one hurts, guys. I was actually really looking forward to playing this game, as I think the idea of Left 4 Dead, but with aliens, is something that could be really cool, and maybe in a better developer's hands, it would have been. Now, once you decide how you want to play this game, because it does feature four-player co-op, uh, you can play it by yourself as the game will give you three AI companions to play with. Unfortunately, the bots aren't very good and they'll get you killed. So I recommend if you do take the plunge, make sure you're playing this with four of your friends. Now, when you pick a level, there are 10 levels to choose from in uh, two campaigns, five levels per campaign each. And you know, it's the basic Left 4 Dead stuff. It's uh, usually a level that is very linear. You go through it. There are some places you have to d defend. Usually you make noise when you have to fix a car or turn on some power substation. And you know what happens then? That's right. You get harassed by the swarm. So you have the regular enemies that are always after you, the drones. You have the special enemies that will kind of spawn intermittently here and there. You have the sappers, which are big, huge enemies that will explode if they get really close to you. You have the threshers that are kind of skulking around that will pounce on top of you and attack you until either you're dead or somebody shoots them off. And then you have the whiplashes, which are these giraffe looking like creatures that kind of just run in really fast, pick you up and just take you away, forcing somebody to kind of chase after you to rescue you. Then of course you have the boss beasts or the big huge bosses uh, you have the tank-like creature, the beast, which he just comes right at you, pounds you into submission, or shoots like an energy ball. And then you have kind of an interesting uh, other boss called Blackout. It's this squid-looking like creature, has kind of blue shields, and will shoot things at you and teleport away. So usually, that's how this stuff goes. You go through the level, you kind of fix things, cause some noise, and you get ambushed by all these enemies. Unfortunately... Like I mentioned in the beginning, it's just not a fun game to play. It's just boring. There's nothing notable about any of the levels that I played. And in fact, we were so bored out of our mind and it's not a fun game to play. We only played through three levels in the game out of the 10. That's how much we didn't enjoy it. And this is coming from somebody who usually finishes all the games they play. So keep that in mind. Now. One of the big things I have, one of the biggest problems with Earthfall is the pacing. It is just completely off. Normally in a game like Warhammer, Vermintide 2, or Left 4 Dead, you get moments of, you know, respite. You get uh, to kind of catch your breath and reassess what's going on. Do I need to heal? Do my friends need uh, ammo or anything? And you kind of get that moment to recollect your thoughts and kind of plan out your attack. But you don't really get this in this game. The enemies are constantly, and I do mean constantly, coming at you over and over and over. Regular drones, who can, they can do some pretty good damage to you. And then you'll have the specials, they'll come after you. And when you try to, uh, you know, think, think everything's clear, the big enemies will come at you. And it just kind of makes for a frustrating and not fun experience. But worse than that, even one of the, the bigger problem I have with the game is the guns. They're all generic. None of them really stand out. They're okay to shoot, but they all lack punch. And you know what I mean when I say that. You could grab a shotgun and shoot an alien right in the face, and it really feels like you're shooting a BB gun at them. Contrast that with Warhammer Vermintide 2 when you take a 
sword, you'll cut their head right off. You'll split them in two. It has weight. The combat has weight in that game. And it feels like you're actually doing damage to enemies. Unfortunately, in Earthfall, they just slump over. It's like you're not you're just throwing, you know, paper at them or something. I really didn't enjoy that. This game also doesn't feature PvP, which is kind of a weird thing. And elements within the game itself, they aren't randomized. And what I mean by that is when you actually go to replay a level, or say you wipe and have to restart, there will always be a gun at the back of this truck. There will always be a mech kit over here. And say you have to search four different cars to find the one piece you need, the one car that you search, it will always be the same car every single time. So it kind of limits the replayability because there's... You get no upgrades for completing missions, you get no stat bonuses, you don't get anything like, hey, you can carry more ammo, or you can do more damage. So the only real reason to play through it is, hey, I want to have a good time with my friends, and I want to experience the story. And like I mentioned, it's not fun to play with your friends, and there is no story for the most part. And most of the story that's there is told through lore, these kind of collectibles that you found scattered throughout. So... It's just kind of a waste of time, unfortunately, playing through this title. And I hate saying that, and I hate being negative when I do these rants and these spotlights, but I want you guys to be informed as possible if you are going to make the decision. Now, Achievement and Trophy Hunters, this is going to be a long game for you to complete. you got to kill like 8,000 drones and hundreds of the special enemies. you got to complete each level on the hardest difficulty. And yeah, this game can be pretty difficult even on the regular difficulty. So you're pretty much going to have to play it with four friends. And I guarantee you one of them ain't going to like it. Because it's just not a fun game to play. Now I know it sounds like I'm being really harsh. And I know I am. But it's not a bad game per se. It's just a very, very mediocre one. But the fact that it's boring. And it's not fun. And we couldn't last more than three missions. Should tell you all you need to know. Don't play this game. And if you are considering it. Pick it up when it's much cheaper. $15, $10 is probably a better price. But honestly, you have better choices you could make. There's Warhammer Vermintide 2 for $30, which is so much better than Earthfall. It's also on Game Pass too, so it's cheaper. And then there are the original Left 4 Dead, which are still great 10 years later. So I'd recommend playing all those games before spending the money on Earthfall, because it's just not a fun experience and that's what i look forward to when i want to play some games with my friends fun time and unfortunately this one did not provide that anyways guys that is my kind of review or whatever you want to call it for earthfall uh, if you enjoyed it make sure you give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the channel already hit the notification bell so you're always notified when i drop videos like this share this out on social media and let me know what you think about Earthfall in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.